In this video, we're going to go over adding a product to ASP.NET storefront. So what I've got here in front of us is uh, an out-of-the-box installation of ASP.NET storefront. And you can see that there's not a lot to it yet. There's no manufacturers, categories, or departments. And we have yet to add a new product. So I'm starting from the beginning here. Uh, so the first thing we'll have to do is add a manufacturer in order to add a product uh, because that's a required field on a product and if you can't enter a manufacturer for the product then it won't create it. So I'm logging into the back end of the site and I'm working with the back end open on one tab and the front end open on the other tab. That way I can see changes that we make. So over here on this side I'm going to go to Managing Manufacturers, and you want to add a new manufacturer. And we'll just give it a name. And hit Add New. And then I'm going to go back to the front end of the website and make sure my manufacturer shows up. And there it is. So let's take a look. If I click to that manufacturer page, you can see it's there, but there's no products in it. So let's fix that. To add a new product, you can click on products here from the left nav and hit the add new button. And I'm going to add a t-shirt. called Pocket Monster because it's got a, well, you'll see. Okay, so you'll need a name, and then you'll want to select a generic product for the product type. And then manufacturer will be Acme, our manufacturer we just added. And the last thing we care about here is the display format XML package. We want to choose simple product for now. And then over here on the Images tab, I'm just going to upload an image that I've got ready. And by uploading the large image, it's going to create the medium and the icon for me. And then over on the Variant tab, and this tab is one that you'll only see when you're adding a brand new product. Otherwise, you'll have to go to the Variant Editing screen. I'm just going to add a price, $10.00 and a sale price just for fun eight dollars and we'll say I've got ten of those so at that point you can just hit add new and it's gonna add our product Okay, so if I click to the Images tab, you can see it added my image, and it automatically created the medium and the icon from the large image, resized them. So let's go to the front end of the website and take a look at what we've got. All right, so here we are on the Manufacturer page, and you can see the icon image showing up, and there's my product. And if you click on it, you get to the product page, and there it is. So that's it. That's the adding of products to ASP.NET Storefront. It's pretty basic. Um, there's obviously a lot more to it, and we'll cover that in later videos.